Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. Glad that you shared with me again on about a five or ten minute message on the fact that we need to recognize God as, as triune. That is three persons in one. His Father, His Son, and His Holy Spirit. One God and yet three different aspects of that God. The Bible says over in 2 Corinthians the 13th chapter verse 14. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Here he speaks of the grace of Christ and then the, the love of God and then the communion of the Holy Spirit. These three are one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We don't have to be able to understand everything about God. It's too great. He's from everlasting. He always was. He never had a beginning. That's beyond our concept. He never had a beginning. He always was. And He always will be. And He's God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. We call it the Trinity. The Bible says over in the book of, of uh, concerning the grace of Christ in Ephesians 2 the Lord Jesus is the one who came and died for us and by His grace we're saved. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9 now by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Now by grace are you saved through faith. And that grace is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Over in the Bible again, and when the, uh, John the Baptist was uh, told to go out and speak for Christ the coming Savior, he said that the mercy of our God is displayed on, from on high in Jesus Christ to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. And so I may be speaking to someone right now who is in darkness. You do not see where you're going. You can't understand why things are happening. Things look bad. Everything seems to be falling apart. Well, I'll tell you what. Jesus came and to help you and he's come to, to give light to those of you who are in darkness. May the light of Jesus come into your heart. May you know that he loves you. He knows what you're facing. He's going to bring you through. He's going to help you call on him and know that he's there. Ask the Lord to help you. And if you've never done it before, ask him to save you and write his, your name in heaven so that you'll not have to go to hell, but you'll go to heaven when it's all over. And so trust the Lord. I let him come into your heart. Bind him upon your life and hope and help in him. Find and follow the way of the Lord as best you can. Ask him to forgive you of every sin. Tell him you believe that he died for you on that cross and that he rose again and he's uh, coming back. Ask him to come into your heart and help you to live for him. Amen. And then I speak to you that are Christians. It's by the grace of the Lord Jesus you're saved. You're born again. Your name is written in heaven. You're on your way. You're on your way home. Praise the Lord for that. We thank God. And then we see the love of God. The grace of Christ. And here's the love of God. And this was manifested. This is in 1 John 4 and 9 and 10. And this was manifested the love of God. And that because God sent forth His only Son into the world that we might live through him. Now herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a sacrifice for our sins. That's how much he loved you. He sent his only begotten son who was part of his own life down here and he was born of a virgin and he came to redeem us and went to that cross and paid for our sins and rose again. So trust him and let it let you know the love of God in your life. And now, brethren, beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. We ought to love each other. I want you to know, whoever you are, I love you. And I know God loves you. And the love of God is that which brings us through. It's the love of God which lifts us up and keeps us going. And I praise God for that. And I'm grateful that the hand of God is good upon us. And then we have the communion of the Holy Spirit, the third part of the Trinity. The Bible says in John, the 14th chapter of John, <clears throat> in verse 26, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father shall send in my name, 
He shall teach you all things and give you peace. Peace will I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So the Holy Spirit comes into our lives when we accept Christ. And we're born again and we belong to God. And we have the Spirit of God in us. The life of God is in us. The life of Jesus is in you and in me. Hallelujah. I want that life to shine through my life. I want His love to permeate me so that it will flow over into the loving others. And I want you to do the same. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. He'll teach you where to go and what to do. He'll help you find a way when there seems to be no way. God will do it because God loves you and God's with you all the way. God will help you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mighty God. Father, God, and Holy Spirit. Three in one and one in three. The Holy Trinity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning my song will rise to Thee. Holy, 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 all the saints adore Thee. Oh, always were away, O blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all the earth shall praise His name, earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 all the earth adore Thee, Thou in three persons, blessed Trinity. Praise the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit loving you, caring for you. He's your God. We're going to make it in Jesus' name. Amen.